What's up guys? I got some new fish. I just got some more of the same kind of fish, but yeah, just more. Well, I got another African leaf fish, which is up there. He's smaller. I mean, he's a lot smaller than, than the other one that's up there. I got another clown roach because like the day after I got my new one, it died. So, you know, <laughs> it's kind of left stranded there. I have to get, you know, I heard they have to have about about three in a group. And then I got another little Cory catfish because, you know, everyone in my family just wanted me to get another one because, you know, they thought he's kind of lonely, but he's somewhere. Um, he's kind of small, but he has grown, though. He's grown a lot. Sorry. Oh, there he is. Right there. But yeah, I got my new fish in here, and I'm gonna put them in now. Set the camera down. Go from there. Just gonna pour out some of the water. And here they go, down into their new home. <laughs> here they go. He sure shot out of there. Oh. He's nice and colorful. I thought he would lose a lot of his color because of the transfer, but apparently not. Now they have some friends. See, already, I'm really surprised. They're already together. The little Corys over there. That was fast. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't expecting expecting it to be that fast, but they're all already schooling together. It's it's like they like it's like they've always been together. Well, here's there's a little Corys over there. The other one's behind the plant. You can't really see him that well, but he's there. Here's the big clown roach, the one I got today. He is right there. He's pretty big compared to the other ones, which are over. There's the smaller one there, and the other one's somewhere behind this, the driftwood. Oh, sorry about that. But he is the. Here's the little African leaf fish over here. My other one is right. Oh, here, here he is. He's right there. That's like his absolute, absolute, sorry, favorite spot in the whole tank. He loves to be here. He like never moves, but hopefully, you know, they'll kind of be friends. But he is right there. And this is a clown roach over there. And I don't know, you know, I've been watching my other videos. I did have another video about Ick. I actually got it uh, with that fish over there, that clown roach. He actually carried it from the pet store. Uh, I was looking over some, my, my older video and actually saw the spots on him. I didn't see that before, but I have this stuff I showed you in the last video to help, you know, have it under control. It, I mean, I, it is declining. I did do, do a water change today about mm, maybe this much, this much here. Uh, I did do that today, which helps helped a lot because my African leaf fish over there, the older one, I don't know if you can see him that well, but he was like extremely sh sluggish and he wouldn't move at all. Like he was, he would, he was in this little spot just sitting down for like weeks. So I had to do something, you know. That's why I think my other clown roach died because of the nitrites in the tank. And I, you know, I had this little tester thing, those little dip things where you dip them in the water and it said nitrites, so I had to fix that. But 
I mean, as soon as I put the new water in there, it, it was like night and day, it was like that. It was, they started to move around more and everything. But the only thing I noticed is that one of the uh, rainbow sharks I got not too long ago, they both have, well that one isn't, it isn't as bad, sorry, but um, they have ick a little bit, just like two spots. That one has two spots on its tail right there. But you know that's under control. I have this stuff, you know, like I, you know, like I mentioned before. I'll put it in later, you know, when I'm done with this video. But um, I just wanted to give you the new update. You know, here's the two little Corys again. They're all ready together. The bigger one in the back, he was pretty lonely. It seems like, because you know, as soon as they got in the tank, they just start to school together. You know, I'm glad about that. My whole family is like, oh, you should get another one of those little catfish, because I, I like those little guys, so I did. You know, I ended up getting, getting them today. It's June, and I'm just really, really happy with this tank. I mean, I, you know, like I did have a 10-gallon. This is so much better, because I could just have these, the, those fish right there. And that was it. That's it. This is the red one, the orange one, the black one, and the white one. Now I can have... 15 instead of 4. So, you know, that's a, that's a big difference, but hope you like this video, and like I said in my last one, I will be getting some more like, I want to get probably about 2, maybe 3, but probably 2 uh, German blue, ram blue rams yeah, can't talk today <laughs> but, um, I'm getting 2 of those, uh, it's like a I don't know how to pronounce this, like it's like AC I E or E I or something. Uh cichlid, it's all it's all blue. I'll show you um I'll show you when I when I get the fish, but uh an eel looking thing, I don't know what it's called. I, f I forgot the name, just on the tip of my tongue. Um uh tiger barb, I want to get th uh three of those for a schooling fish. And then I think I have like rose barbs or some something like that. I'm not sure what the actual name is, but we have those at Pest Mart, uh, local store, pet, pet store, and like red glass barbs, we'll probably get the tiger barbs and rose barbs, or whatever they're called, <laughs> I don't really know what the name is, but, um, this is my, my new update, hope you like it, and see ya.